welcome to live session 3 uh, today i am going to uh, solve some uh, problems uh, like earlier and then we are going to uh, discuss about some particular molecules how to disconnect them and how to start a retrosynthesis followed by do the forward synthesis so um, let's start today's session Okay, so welcome again uh, to Life Lesson 3 and I am Manushi Jnandi, uh, the TF for this course. So let's start the today's first problem. So uh, the question is cyclopentanol on heating with concentrated NMH efforts which product. So uh, as you can uh, see it is a base so this is nothing but an enolate chemistry right. So cyclopentanol. Let's start with inlet formation. So, acidic protons are there. For alpha hydrogens, they are acidic, and as it is uh, symmetric uh, molecule, so of course, sense of uh, selectivity. So, you can take any proton and start the and start solving. <coughs> So in this way, enolate you know, is generated, and uh, the reaction medium. Uh, this is let's say one of uh, one equivalent of this is generated, and there are uh, more molecules of cyclopentan. <coughs> so now this is an nucleophilic center, and this is electrophilic or electron deficient one so the, what enolate would do enolate would attack this center and with the first cc bond formation reaction it is nothing but uh, the alloy the alloy reaction right? as you can see <coughs> so after this cc bond formation there is keto and uh, one bond is uh, this bond is uh, newly generated CC bond and both are five members so they are right on five member ring and you can see it is attacking in the this center so it is O minus and generally in, when you add in a which they are uh, itself H2 or moisture content is there so H2 is very much present in the reaction mixture so it can easily protonate and make the product alcohol and keto so this is formed so from here NOH is there so OH minus can take one more proton over here. As you can see, it is doing, it is in heating condition. So that's why the further step is happening. The uh, condensation reaction uh, for this we need, uh, we always need heat. So after uh, this. This is acidic proton, so which can abstract that easily. So after that, this type of species is generated. So and this is also an inolate. That's why th this is generating. This is stabilized by this uh, by this keto group so by this way 
species is generated in the reaction mixture then only the elimination of hydroxy group is happening so this is a P1C beta elimination reaction in this way this double bond is formed by the elimination so you can see this is the product so the right option would be A and B the uh, hydroxy group connectivity is wrong so B is not right and these are both OH so <coughs> this is also not right so in this way you can easily solve and, uh, and say the right answer would be A so let's look at our next problem <coughs> that uh, NaOET is used so you can see NaOET it can act both as nucleophile or base both it can act so uh, <coughs> in this kind of system we know the this is actually Faberski type rearrangement uh, reaction so let's start so with presence of NaOET let's see what is going to happen so uh, Consider NaVT act as a base acting as base. So as it is acting as base, so <coughs> in the molecule most acidic proton at first it would capture. So in the reaction medium, most acidic proton is this one, right? So one of the hydrogen would be abstracted by NaOET and uh, this enolate would form here rest of the things are there chlorine and tertiary butyl <coughs> then normal xn to reaction would happen and make this this type of cyclopropane ring with keto Glucophanone type ring to be formed, and this is the rest of the tertiary butane. Now, in a VT present, so now AT minus would act as nucleophile. So, at first it is acting as a base, then it is acting as nucleophile. So, when nucleophile it acts as nucleophile. So the keto center it would attack and make this O minus and O E T and this is five member ring and tertiary butyl group is so from here <coughs> you can see uh, this is an also an symmetric molecule so uh, after the rearrangement this bond or this bond would clip doesn't matter for this case as it is symmetric so you can clip any of this bond uh, and do the rearrangement so now <coughs> five member ring is there and here uh, CO8 uh, CO2T the ester group is formed here one negative charge followed by here tertiary butyl now in the reaction mixture you can see here after the it acting as base it UNA. so from here we can generate we are we are generating one ethanol so each plus source is there so from there <coughs> the H plus source uh, so this anion would be neutralized and one proton would be introduced there and make this particular molecule. Mm -hmm. So you can see the relation between these two are 1, 3 and normal cyclopropane. So 6 member to 5 member uh, ring contraction is there. So when you we check only the option can be correct. All are 6 members. So these are not 
correct option. So in this way you can easily solve uh, this problem. Now as we are talking about Haber's key, so uh, we can actually little bit discuss about uh, this Haber's key reaction. So here you can see we are uh, uh, the, uh, the sodium ethoxide we are uh, using uh, at first as base then we are using it as nucleophile but initially the inventors of the reaction have also the doubt what if uh, the at first the NOET act as nucleophile so that can be another option to uh, uh, for the reaction mechanism for that case let's see what would be happening so this is the right mechanism in context I am discussing is if naivety act as nucleophile first so then what would be the fate of the reaction so for that at first naivety <coughs> would attack this center and and do this thing so now O minus would be generated OET that's the butyl group is there and chloro group is over there and then this and this uh, like benzyl uh, benzoic uh, benzyl type uh, rearrangement is there so if that happens and chlorine would so if that happens you can see CO2 this one is so this is so this so if we operate this reaction mechanism also we are getting the same uh, product which is D. So um, that's why initially uh, people have doubt which uh, which particularly which reaction mechanism is operating this one or this one. So for that they did an ex uh, and, uh, experiment to prove the reaction mechanism. So at first consider this as a pH and pH right. So, uh, so uh, in the previous slide, what I have shown is basically uh, <coughs> the confusion between the cyclopropane formation or propanone formation. This type of benzyl benzylic acid type rearrangement. Benzyl benzylic. This type of rearrangement. So, uh, this type of uh, <coughs> rearrangement uh, can also occur. So, if this type of this particular benzyl benzylic type of uh, things occur, means it first act as uh, nucleophile so acting as nucleophile then for this case what would happen so OH minus would attack here over here so OH and it would become O minus so this followed by this as chlorine is there so this group would migrate and fate of the reaction would be this particular molecule and in this case so you can see uh, both are uh, different uh, starting material so in that case if OH minus at first act as nucleophile so this would be formed and then with 
oil migration followed by uh, fuel minus elimination would give rise to this product. So uh, this uh, should occur if this type of rearrangement mechanism is operating for this type of alpha halo keto molecules. So for uh, to prove the reaction mechanism, uh, uh, so they did for uh, so basically they prepared one and two and treated both with OH minus. So if this mechanism happens, so both should keep different uh, products, this hydrocinamic acid or and for second case this should be hydrotropic acid if this mechanism operates this two um, should give, give different uh, products which are this but when they did one and two they seem the only this hydrocinamic acid is for 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 first case is obviously forming and second case it is forming not this one so uh, in this way they, uh, they prove that this type of mechanism is not operating because if this mechanism operates we should able to we should got the product uh, hydrotropic uh, acid but this is not for me. So, uh, so to account this case why uh, this is not for me. So they introduce this uh, cyclopropanum type uh, formation mechanism. So let's see with cyclopropanum mechanism for these two cases what should be the product. So if uh, this uh, cyclopropanum uh, intermediate is for me, so with in presence of base so H minus at first this inolate would generate and uh, and then uh, it would attack this uh, this center and and remove the cl minus group so when this is this occurs so this uh, cyclopropanol type of ring be forming and here you can see pH and CH2 so this should be the intermediate and for this case <coughs> uh, at first this enolate would form as uh, you can see uh, so in this case in this cases uh, OH minus is acting as normal base not nucleophile so if here the enolate forms again this SM2 attack would lead to formation of this. So, uh, particular this mechanism which minus acting as base would account for the fact that both uh, different starting materials are forming the same uh, product which is hydrocinamic acid. So, in this way that So in this way they actually proved that this type of cyclopropanone type uh, ring formation is there so that's why both uh, starting both different starting materials are leading to a single product which is this. So in this way the uh, mechanism of Sabotsky reaction is proved and uh, <coughs> this is kind of uh, thumb rule you can remember if alpha hydrogen is there the OET minus or OH minus this kind of uh, species would act as based base first then it would act as nucleophile and if alpha hydrogen is not present only then it would act as nucleophile so this is uh, kind of thumb rule you all can remember and so for that case I have also one example for this type of species you can see no alpha hydrogens are there so which minus can't act as base and it has to act as nucleophile first so that's why it was it, act, uh, it attacks the carbonyl center part make this 
molecule and this type of benzyl benzylic acid type uh, rearrangement is there to make this molecule and uh, in this way uh, the mechanism was proved and <coughs> and mechanism is proved and this is the context of Haber's equation. So this is our next problem. So let's see. <coughs> so uh, you can see one alkyl group is there and they are uh, asking about what reaction conditions should be uh, uh, should be uh, right one for this uh, transformation. So for the first, uh, <coughs> this is H2 lindular catalyst. So lindular catalyst, I have explained in my previous class. But for the quick reca recap, so this is uh, the lindular catalyst. Uh, palladium uh, CO3 and catalyst uh, <coughs> poisons are like uh, PP and quinone. So this uh, particular, uh, these two uh, catalyst uh, poisons are there to uh, stop the uh, reaction in this alkene form, not doing the further reduction and make, make it as normal alkene gel. So, to stop this, <coughs> these two uh, catalyst poisons are used and why the hydrogen uh, hydrogen appeared from one phase. So for that, uh, uh, to account that, that uh, this palladium uh, OSC hold 2 and this quinoline at first uh, make this kind of species and it uh, uh, then after that it uh, make a complex with the alkyne and you can see in that way it's uh, it blocks one of the phases so for this particular case the below phase of this alkyne is completely blo blocked so if hydrogen appears so the only uh, remaining option is the above phase so in this way one phase is completely blocked and another uh, phase is uh, free in this way the selectivity comes and hydrogen to hydrogen have to <coughs> appear in the same phases and make this is alkene. So this is uh, in this way lindular catalyst works. So at first with H2 lindular, uh, so the product would be having a G geometry. So in this case it is terminal. So now selectivity of EZ are there. But uh, linear catalyst do that thing so I have explained that <coughs> so after first step um, this should be the product and then they have use, used used uh, the BH3 NOH so you all know so but, uh, let's explain so <coughs> with BH3 particularly this kind of mechanism should be operating and it would make this particular and after that, uh, this species could further react with equivalent of these molecules and make this, uh, and make it like this type of molecule. And then they have applied NaOH and H2. So with H2O2 NaOH. One of the proton would be abstracted first and make this O minus, and you can we all know that uh, the boron center is uh, electron deficient, so O minus would react with that first. So B R dash three. Let's consider this whole part as R dash. Then O O H is there. <coughs> then from here one one of the are, are test and migrate like this and followed by uh, so B O R this kind of thing is there and then <coughs> same mechanism would operate another two times as you can see two are two are there so another two equivalent of hydrogen peroxide can uh, interact with this molecule and make this 
B O R dash three. This type of uh, species, and from here, hydroxy should make R which the hydroxy. This is the basic oh. mechanism. So R dash is nothing but this uh, this whole part, right? So the mechanism would be sorry, the product would be to fuse five member ring CH two CH two OH. So this should be our product, and uh, so you can uh, this is also given like this. So you can see the first option should be the right right one and. The rest of the option is look at so you get hydrogen, uh, hydrogen pallet, uh, platinum or palatine. So, for you can see all these cases, no catalyst <coughs> poisons are used, right? So, this uh, it is not controlled, the alkyne would directly convert to alkene type of chain means they are. CH2 uh, CH3. It would uh, uh, the uh, <coughs> the reduction uh, will not stop in alkene form. It would uh, uh, reduce the molecule in this alkene chain. So that's why B, C, or D should not be the correct option. So I have explained this now. <coughs> this is the next problem. So you can see the uh, brom uh, one bromo compound in presence of magnesium ether so this is nothing but Grignard generation reaction uh, I hope you all know so tertiary butyl group and are nothing the MGPR the Grignard formation reaction in, uh, in dry ether condition as uh, proton can coince this particular reactive nucleophile so this particular nucleophile is generated then they have applied formaldehyde is the issue so uh, this nucleophile and this KHO this ketos this carbonyl center is the yeah. electrodeficient one so this uh, attack is uh, this attack easily yeah. can happen And you can see this particular uh, stereo center here it's not uh, involved in this uh, reaction mechanism so this stereo uh, chemistry is <coughs> so this attack over here and here the H2 and during workup H2 is there so it would make it as alcohol so primary alcohol would be from when it is reacting with uh, formaldehyde molecule is CH. So uh, let's see, uh, it is an oxidized version, not correct. Primary alcohol should be the right option, and this is CO2H, also not correct. Uh, so right answer should be B. So in this way, you <coughs> can uh, solve this one. And uh, you want to make sure that uh, when the after generation of the Grignard, is uh, the formaldehyde is when formaldehyde is added, it should not be there. If it is there, the uh, <coughs> Grignard should be coenzymed and make it and it would uh, convert it to a normal alkene type or alkene type molecule. So this should be considered. And this is our next problem. So MCPBA, this is uh, can see uh, MCPBA and this type of keto, it is nothing but bioavailability oxidation reaction. So let's start this problem. Yeah, so cyclohexamine is they are methyl <coughs> at this moment. So MCBB. Metaclorocarbenzoic acid. 
At first, this attack should be happening over here. Then O minus is formed. Then this paroxysling gas is there. Then CO. And for the time being, I am uh, writing it as an aromatic group AR. And here, one side is there. Like this. So now, the rearrangement would occur. So there are two possibilities. Uh, first, rearrangement of this particular uh, this ring or the methyl, the small methyl. So you all know the migrating aptitude. So uh, <coughs> migratory aptitude of the of this type of ring is much more than this methyl group. So that's why the ring would migrate and attack over here and between these two oxygen this particular oxygen is more uh, electrophilic and then this peroxo bond would cleave and it would lead to this OME O and here the ring uh, the whole ring and and the relation of this uh, to R1 to 3. In 3 position, there would be methyl. Uh, so, after the first step uh, of uh, the migration, this should be our product. Uh, this should be our product. Right? Uh, then you can see B, NOH is used. So, when NOH is used, this type of OAC, these are very prone to uh, react with this type of bases and this OH minus can easily act over this uh, easily uh, react with this and it would break, break this uh, particularly this bond So this would generate uh, this type of uh, species followed by methyl and OH with this uh, on three relation. So this should be our product. Now let's see. So you can see OAC is generating after uh, first step. But in presence of NOH, this particular OAC group that we have generated could not survive in this basic condition. So this should be hydrolyzed to this. So that's why this should be the right option. So another are this high, uh, oxidized version should not be correct and protonation also can be occurring for this particular reaction condition. So this is also not correct. So that's why uh, is, uh, this should be the right option. So uh, this is the next uh, we can see. <coughs> so which should be the correct option. Right. Uh, so you can see this is nothing but than epoxy, epoxide formation reaction. So how we can generate epoxy? Currently, two popular choices we have. One is MCPPA that we have uh, just used in the previous case for biodiversity. Beta chloropar basic acid. That's E O3 O3 H. So beta chloropar benzoic acid, and these ones are for electron release alkyl. Means. Uh, can see this type of molecule where the 
electron each reach not electron deficit this molecule or generally indole this type of electron reach for that for this cases uh, we use this mcbb so as you know This opens so O is minus, which also directly uh, can do this. Flip this bond, second attack like this. So, in this way, the epoxide can be formed by nucleophilic um, uh, attack by this electron core in the oxygen <coughs> center. So, this. Is for electron rich alkene. This is the first type. And another case is there where uh, the alkenes are not electron rich, they are electro deficient, like this type of molecules. Right. Uh, or in you know, this type of uh, electron uh, deficient molecules. Where electron is very much uh, alkene is very much electron poor. So as electron density is pretty uh, less here in MCPV, <coughs> the first attack should not be possible as alkenes are reacting as nucleophiles. So for this type of cases, MCPV can do the form the epoxide uh, from the epoxide. So for this type of cases, this should be acting as electrophiles and the <coughs> epoxide bringing oxygen should be nucleophilic in nature. So for these cases, another reaction condition is optimized which is H2O2 hydrogen peroxide in the presence of NOH or any basic medium. So, in this particular condition, this type of species will be generated at first. So, this is pretty much electron nickelly uh, rich moiety. So, it can act as nucleophile and this type of electrophile should act as electron accepting accepted or electrophiles so this is then this paroxy uh, uh, <coughs> this is a nucleophile and this is a electrophile so here also you can compare this particular alkene is electron deficient as this type of uh, things is there so that's why it is electron deficient so PP cannot react with, uh, with simple H2O2, not basic condition, it all should not also work. Only H2O2 anyway should be work. So, this should be the case. So, let's see what should be the mechanism for that. So here this particular nucleophile at first to attack over here and make this here it would remain as you know that type of thing. So and here it is O O H right.
and this is a uh, electron rich center as it is an inlet so this type of things it lead to epoxide formation so this two and this particular these two points in this way you can see this particular uh, reaction condition should be the right one for this process next so this is an <coughs> easy retrosynthesis problem so this is our TGT target following obtain from which to calculate compound. So let's see which are the, uh, the options. Zybenzyl uh, keto 2 molecule 2 molecules. We do the retro first, it would be C2 sorry. So let's disconnect these two bonds. So you all know if we <coughs> disconnect this type of uh, two bonds and generate two molecules. These are APTs, appendage type disconnection. If we disconnect like the, so we generate, we can generate this and this. This should be the two right appendages to <coughs> approach to this uh, uh, molecule. So, uh, uh, if uh, you may think if we uh, why keto over here, not there. So, let's see if we introduce keto over here and uh, make this as nucleophile. So, this is APD uh, normal disconnection. So uh, this should be the this is how you should proceed but for the uh, more explanation point of view I am explaining why uh, this is keto and this is H2 not the reverse so let's see let's see so when we first uh, generate synthon we have two choices one is this and Our first choice. The second choice would be here plus here. So uh, between these two cases we should be uh, more easily uh, approachable so this should be this because this molecule is itself uh, nucleophilic in uh, nature if we generate a knowledge so this to minus charge can be easily formed from this molecule right because normal enolate formation would lead to negative charge over here and, and this can also this also an uh, known starting material where these two center are electrified so uh, this that's why these two this particular first approach is superior over here then this because if we need to do uh, the positive charge so the starting material for this should be this type of here halogen and for making this uh, this should be very difficult to make like this and, and form this type of two double bonds so that's why the second approach is 
not quite feasible so we choose uh, this type of disconnection which uh, leads to this so now uh, check the options to mole of ribenzyl ketone so these are ribenzyl So two moles we are not generating one mole of dibenzyl ketone one mole of benzene and let's say one mole of dibenzyl ketone but one mole of acetophen so acetophenone it is not acetophenone so it is not correct here you can see this is the right option one mole of dibenzyl ketone and one mole of benzene mole of benzene it is also not correct so that's why C should be the right option for the uh, to make this molecule. So I hope here to here uh, the forward synthesis uh, you all know, but let me explain that also. So the two starting materials we have uh, concluded that this should be this product, uh, this option C. So where? Starting material is this and <coughs> one mole of pH. So when we charge it with OH minus, the phenolate would be formed over 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 here. Then uh, the second mole of the uh, one mole of benzyl is also there. Like this. So attack over here and we are doing it let's say heating condition which is nothing but it's for a H2O removal the condensation reaction so this type of uh, so this type of species at first to you generate now the OH minus would begin to itself make the uh, inolate of our air it attack like this and in condition minus H2O would lead to formation of a double bond of our air also. So in this way the this is the forward and make this particular molecule sorry particular molecule so this is the next problem uh, this is quite related uh, one of our earlier classes so <coughs> it will be easier to solve I guess so let's say let's see uh, from this to this so this is the target molecule and this is starting so here to here, what should be the right condition? Let's see. So if NaPH4 is used, what should be the fit? So if NaPH4 is used, A condition. So of course the keto would converted to alcohol. This is well accepted. The H minus of NaPH4 at a good here and do this. Fine. But uh, the question is this molecule, this alkyl part that you you can see this is alpha beta unsaturated ketone so this is also quite electrophilic in nature and it's minus can easily approach this point also and uh, there, <coughs> there are uh, very less uh, select there would be very less selectivity and it and it can actually reduce the alkyl part and make this global uh, global reduction product global reduced product which is this but our uh, target in the in our target molecule the alkene should be intact so that's why NaPH4 sole NaPH4 is not right option and when LH is used it is much 
मार्च एक फिर दें इन्हें बीच इन्हें बीच को एंड हैव हेडी स्ट्रॉंग रिड्यूसिंग इलेज एंड फॉर इलेज फॉर दिस इलेज दे इज माइनस आल्सो कैन डू द सेम थिंग लाइक प्रीवियस वन एंड इट कैन रिड्यूस द अल्फा बीटा अनसैचुरेटेड एल्किन पार्ट एंड डू द ग्लोबल ग्लोबल रिडक्शन एंड मेक दिस ग्लोबली रिड्यूस so that's why lh with lh no control is there so it is should not be our right so now you can see the ccl3 and nlh so you may all know this is particularly this condition is future reduction condition and what happened in this case the ccl3 actually uh, actually dictates uh, the your selectivity so at first with this keto center thus this type of uh, interaction is present with ccl3 and if this particular uh, interaction is present the uh, this particular center become much more electrophilic than non uh, coordinating and <coughs> When we apply NABH4, H minus selectively attack this place in uh, very fast manner. And the reaction rate is very fast. And, uh, that's why the only the keto is reduced and the NABH4 and the alkene part is not touched. And here reaction time is much slower. For uh, many cases, it is less than uh, five minutes also. So the uh, purpose of using CCL3 is that only to uh, make this uh, uh, center much much electron deficient that in a DH4 can uh, reduce this selectively and in very fast manner. <coughs> so in this way, uh, the Luce reduction condition, uh, the alkene part is. Unaffected only keto part is reduced, so C should be the right answer. So with B H three, you all know uh, in, uh, previous problems I have solved that B H three is very popular to reduce this type of alkene, right? So with B H three, this type uh, this type of species followed by further R B R three type. Formation is uh, this type of uh, thing is very popular. So in this condition, this alkene would not survive, and we do make it like BR3 type of BR3 type of thing. So that's why this is also not the right option. Only C should uh, C should be the optimized uh, or the right condition. This type of reaction. So this is the next problem. Yeah, so this is the next problem, and uh, here you can see B2A6, which is uh, nothing but the dimer of the uh, borens, the B3. I have uh, discussing earlier. So <coughs> the same way we can uh, solve this problem. So let's start this problem. B286 is nothing but dimer of B. So you can easily consider it as B3. <coughs> so in this particular B3.
copying all of the the ph2 part why do you to go the left sterically in that position so this part uh, go on to go and uh, and the uh, mode uh, substituted or sterically in that position is normal to interact so that's the diffuse activity and from here H2 to in which condition uh, the alcohol formation is pretty well known. So hydroxy can be formed and K2CR2O7 is well known for its oxidation tendencies. So this OH can be uh, converted to ketones. So this is well known and this is problem. So this should be the answer and it is the right one. So this is that we have so we have to have this one it is here to three and these are not right so uh, the relation you can make this relation so uh, there are there is one more problem I think problem is there so let me add one slide and uh, explain that also yeah so uh, there was a, uh, <coughs> the train uh, probably the train problem was uh, yeah, so this is the tenth problem which was five bed burning is there, so five bed burning was there, and one to die all is there, and condition was is. So leave it for now uh, with H plus. Let's see what is uh, what should be the right product. So in H plus condition, one of the hydroxy group, group would be protonated first and it is symmetrical one, so first kind of selectivity. So like this. Now this type of arrow pushing the lone pair can donate electron here and the rearrangement can be happening like this. So if this happens, you can see the uh, it is nothing but one uh, ring expansion type of reaction. So the product would be one uh, one side it would be the five member ring and spiro type thing would be formed and it is six member as one carbon is one is uh, ring expansion is happening 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and uh, the keto would be adjacent to the uh, spiro the spiro so this should be the right option and uh, the rest of the option I didn't remember but uh, this is an easy problem I hope you can really solve this and this should be the right uh, right right product so uh, this was
was solved for uh, the assignment part previous year or related to uh, related to the assignments you would solve now i want to uh, discuss some of the <coughs> uh, some of the small or small to large molecules how if uh, if you are give, if you uh, are given one uh, molecule how you should uh, make the disconnection and uh, move ahead for the synthesis so <coughs> this is one of <coughs> Uh, one of our target molecule let's see how we should proceed so this day for this particular uh, molecule you can see there is an <coughs> start type linkage is there COO so this is nothing but lactone so if we disconnect this bond we can generate one acid and one alcohol and from here to there electron formation reaction we can do so this should be our first disconnection <coughs> next one is how we can generate this for this we need to do an FGI means functional group interconversion so uh, uh, from this class only you can uh, remember that uh, the C geometry uh, the Z geometry is, uh, can be uh, achieved from an alkyne moiety form by doing an inla using an linear catalyst followed by hydrogen so uh, pretty uh, well known reaction condition today we have used only so uh, in, in that context we can uh, Easily say that this Z geometry can be achieved from this alkyl by linear catalyst reduction. Now <coughs> the, we can do our second disconnection over here and uh, make two moieties. This this particular part and this epoxy. So how it is generated? It is uh, the you can do when you write the symptom will be much easier so when we disconnect this bond this should be positively charged and this should be negatively charged why reverse is uh, not we have doing because um, from the experience you got now it would be much easier because if we generate a positive charge over here that type generating that type of molecule is much tougher so this negative would be our um, <coughs> prior choice and the other options have left so this is nothing but an brick nut uh, the starting material for this symptom and this is uh, you can see nothing but one epoxide epoxides today we have uh, also uh, learned how epoxide we can form for the electron rich molecule with MCPBA treatment of uh, this we can easily generate epoxide uh, molecule <coughs> so uh, <coughs> this is the second thing we have uh, uh, the second disconnection of functional group addition we can say FGA we, uh, would be <coughs> the epoxidation reduction. So now the question would be here we are uh, you can see using an EL why we are not using Z1. So the origin of this uh, particularly this step as you can see here one stereochemistry is or it is an one stereocenter is there where both methyl should be above right so and 
silik oxide this is an SN2 type reaction condition and we all know when SN2 happen inversion should be happening inversion so if SN2 happen we attack over here so the stereochemistry of this would be reversed so methyl would come in above and it would be uh, the other side so appearing nucleophile and if it attacked this uh, this position so then both would be both methyl would be reversed. so to maintain this stereochemistry uh, as two methyl should be uh, below or above as you can see this is plus minus so stereochemically at this molecule we need, need not to make but uh, the uh, this particular diastereomer we should that's the objective of this problem so we need to make this two methyl as this should not be trans so to maintain this as we are using sn2 over here so we need to uh, be careful that way so that's why we are using an <coughs> e geometry over here not using let's uh, let's see if what would happen if we use the z1 so from here the population you can we all know should be same thing to methyl both are above or b let's consider above so then when we attack with the nucleophile the inversion should occur over here in the center and if yes, that happens the methyl would be below and another methyl would be above followed by OH and B. so you can see that happens the uh, relationship between these two are changing then our targeted molecule so that's why we are using here the uh, E geometry not that geometry. Now, so let's see the forward uh, synthesis. So, in MCBBA <coughs> condition, I have explained the mechanism earlier how the oxidation happens. So, this uh, from the epoxide over here, and you can see the trans geometry is maintained. And when the nucleophile file is attacking, so how you can generate this simple acetylene type of so let's say in NH2 and bromine or iodine <coughs> it can easily form this at first the negative and it would attack bromine or iodine make it is hello molecule and treatment it with mg you can generate this particular pregnant molecule and uh, this in this way this can be made also uh, this type of molecules are commercially available <coughs> so this nucleophile can attack now this center of this center because it is uh, a racemic one polar racemic so this above or below both are same as we are our target molecule is plus minus this uh, right so <coughs> when the nucleophile would attack uh, one of the uh, the one of the uh, stereo center uh, the inversion would occur so if here happens both methyl would be below and if this attack over here both methyl would be above so uh, and both and uh, the both the molecules are nothing but to enantiomers so these and methyl and so this and So 
anything happen uh, this should be this and after that you tie lithium or dry third what we are uh, in dry eyes what we are doing we are just incorporating one co2 is good over here because with butyl lithium at first this acidic proton would be clipped so let me write here part is this with butyl lithium it would lithiate the species at first at least as it is uh, acidic molecule acidic proton so this nucleophile is generated and dry ice is nothing but you all know CO2 so this attack over here so R CO O minus and H3 O plus is nothing but protonation of this from the carboxylic acid so <coughs> now we have generated this one now this is particular condition we have just earlier uh, read this uh, it is linked with our catalysis catalyst we should do the reduction and make the this particular z geometry it is popular for that and it can uh, reduce uh, the alkyl alkyl to ZL. Now after this only the lactam bond formation reaction is uh, required and with heating condition only this uh, which can be uh, the, this particular attack which to this one of this molecule is uh, very much suitable it can lead to our target molecule which is this so this is our target molecule and this is the racemic one so in this way we can easily size the molecule so let's look at uh, the next problem So this is our next target <coughs> Here uh, also uh, there are many uh, many disconnection options so we are choosing this particular disconnection why because you can see if we disconnect this particular bond this would generate uh, Type of alpha beta and saturated uh, top moiety, and with this type of Michael addition reaction, we can easily form this type of one. That's why we have to do it. Now, the alpha beta dis uh, disconnection, uh, and how we can do this, uh, and almost the alder type uh, reaction with alder type reaction condition, we can easily make this type of molecules. So, this we have disconnected and generated one you can see with uh, one this particular moiety with alpha hydrogen can generate the enolate and this is the CH drop so that act particularly will occur over here and do the enol uh, condensation reaction so that's why we have disconnected uh, this and generated this two molecules and how we can generate this so we are disconnecting this bond so if we disconnect this bond one side uh, one uh, uh, cyclohexanone is generated and another synthon would be this so one uh, the, the equivalent uh, synthetic equivalent for this type of synthon there are many options so one is this as it is earlier we have used commercially available but another option we can think of is the Planck, stat uh, Planck statistics so this is 
this type of uh, filter so how we can generate it this type of hypothetical protection at first so you uh, hypothetical protection first and then it is become an acidic protein so with uh, base we can remove this acidic protein and generate this type of moiety which is equivalent to this so there are two options here we are using this one so it is uh, uh, nucleophile so one to addition and a cost per cup make this particular tertiary alcohol and with hg2 plus you can uh, you all know that uh, the alkene with hg2 plus this type of type of moiety at first generation right? like this. this type of thing generated at first now as here hydrogen is there so now here uh, in this particular condition it goes to carbocation type formation reaction that's why the carbocation prefer to form in the more substituted site compared to the less substituted one that's why this particular center is more electropositive for this particular reaction condition only H2 plus an issue so H2 only attack the more substituted uh, carbon compared to less substituted one that's why the OH is introduced in the most substituted carbon center and make this type of molecule and which can lead to formation of this it is uh, the normal dotom H so in this way uh, the H2 uh, uh, attack this uh, particular more substituted position make it the bulb one which is nothing but uh, the dotomerized form of version of this so this we have generated and can a nitrobenzaldehyde we are reacting it with so this plus para nitrobenzaldehyde and with presence of basic medium uh, the enolate would be generated first This enolate will be generated, and this particular attack form this and do the aldol condensation reaction with this double. And this is alpha beta acetated, <coughs> and with uh, but, uh, just diluted H2SO4 at first. Uh, this type of protonation will be there, and this. Type of attack is possible. We choose this to formation of this CO bond and this enolate in presence of H plus can easily be converted to this keto. Here the here. So in this way, the small uh, the small molecules we can in this way we can approach. We can create some simple bonds uh, based on our this <coughs> connection approach uh, experience. And simple way you can see uh, all uh, all our simple reactions. Uh, you can easily make this. This all are, these two I have shown are uh, comparatively simply small molecules, but, all, but always uh, it is also important to make uh, when uh, we are approaching for larger targets. So, uh, 
so today i want to um, uh, discuss about one of the uh, earlier uh, like uh, competitor compare uh, competitor uh, <coughs> more complex molecule uh, which is uh, long before. Comparing with uh, earlier discussed molecule, this is uh, uh, comparatively uh, complex one. So, this is one of the natural products. So the natural product and uh, for the good is male that you, you may all uh, familiar with. The reason for that, how you smell, the lovely pollen. Is there? <coughs> so to uh, synthesize this, let's start our electrosynthetic analysis. So this long. The most complex uh, thing about a is this part. This part one reset uh, uh, position is there and followed by this ring. So this particular thing is most complex one for this type of molecule. So when we do the retro, we try to minimize the complexity of the target and start to keep on. So at first, uh, let's. Uh, we at first can do the one functional group interconversion which is introduction of one keto variant. So consider we are uh, from long people in group. One keto type. Right? Now this. So uh, this is uh, one of the precursor for long now there are few options that we can start with so at first we can flip this particular bond A if A is flipped we can see this particular synthon uh, can be generated and uh, this, if we write it in simpler way this is a radical so let's consider hydrogen <coughs> This disconnection, this is uh, nothing but 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 6, 7 fused rings. So, 6, Used uh, ring structure and they are in the six number. Here we have a keto and Z position on the side. We have methyl. They are. So, uh, if we uh, disconnect the A bond, this is one of the species we can generate where it is 6, 7, 15. Now, let's say we disconnect uh, the bond, the D bond. Then, what should be the. So, we are disconnecting D bond. Is a bond. So if we disconnect the bond, we can write like this. So the bond is disconnected. So this. Uh, 
rest of the thing we can draw like this so here we have methyl here we have hydrogen and D we have uh, disconnected so let's say let's see what it is the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and it is probably 5 so this is nothing but 8 5 fuse uh, system it is 8 so generating this type of 8 5 or 6 7 which is easier so of course there should be uh, uh, the possibilities of formation of both in, in different uh, choosing of different starting material but in the rational way this uh, should be more easier to make that's why <coughs> the a bond uh, the disconnect the rationality of the connection of a bond is more than t that's why a bond is this connection is from over uh, this particular a bond this connection is much easier the next bonds are b or c you can see if we uh, disconnect B or C in this, uh, the main complexity of the mo uh, molecule, uh, this part would remain intact. And uh, thus, we need to take the complexity and make the simple molecule. So, this connection of B, C, these two bonds are illogical for this particular target. So, that's why they are also eliminated as. Uh, uh, as option so the, the a the disconnection of a bond is more rational so after disconnection of a bond we can generate uh, this type of so let, let me give you the rest of the thing yeah we can generate this type of uh, system now there are uh, here we have considered keto i have told earlier Consider keto from long before it to this. How can generate? We can generate just uh, the 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 weak right? Yeah, yeah, plus. So with just treatment of weak condition, the this type of polyphenol uh, <coughs> reaction is very well known. That's why this is. So that's why this is the precursor uh, for long before. <coughs> so keto. So uh, if we generate symptoms, how we do the here we can keep one negative charge as it is an alpha hydrogen, the inolate can be generated. So we can do like this. And here this uh, should be the positively charged. So how we can make this particular center positive one so that's why uh, for that we need to do uh, two things one is functional group addition over here and one functional group removal from here so if we do this it would lead to to introduce one functional group which is keto over here and we need to make this position electrophilic so normal Michael acceptor kind of thing we can think of and here one methyl group is there so to make one uh, double bond we need to remove one methyl group that's why it is like this so this one the molecule to six states. So this is one of our approach. So what are the other approaches? Uh, to uh, we need to connect these two, right? So <coughs> here we can think of uh, a positive charge like this, followed by keto. So it 
they did at first we need to do an protection of this ketomoid so, not this keto this so you can see uh, the comparison so that the, uh, this keto center or this keto center which is more reactive this particular one so that's why in this particular condition this particular keto center is uh, at first protected now with this the uh, witic reaction condition is generate uh, the minus charge over here Uh, 
here uh, rest of them so <coughs> methyl it is converted to O minus in methyl so this arrow facing like this O minus followed by the arrangement removing so you can see Today itself we discuss uh, from our tenth problem actually. Here to uh, spiral of this uh, this type of thing. We, one of the problem we have done this. So the same in the same context there it was uh, H plus to make is living group and here we are doing the OTS so in the same way we are expanding uh, the ring size from 6 member to 7 member you can see the uh, uh, expansion of ring occur here it is 5 to 6 there we have uh, they have done 6 to 7 expansion rates very expansion in the same way we are uh, earlier expanding so after that this particular condition it is nothing but uh, condition to deprotect this uh, ketal moiety so it is generated keto keto heart here so it is uh, like that this is uh, generated now in uh, trithylamine seal tube yes. so seal tube is uh, has, uh, in the seal tube uh, uh, <coughs> In triethylamine, actually, it is nothing but the basic condition. Uh, the one enolytic generating and the Michael uh, addition we are doing like this. So, if this happens, this particular bond is formed. So, make that again here. Because you can see it is not an Michael acceptor right now. So that's why we need that extremely heating uh, 225 24 hour the heating condition is needed just to isomerize this double bond class and make it that <coughs> make it a Michael acceptor. So let's see what is happening. So there one acidic hydrogen is there, they are double bond. There it is six member So in the heating condition with presence of trithylamine, this isomerization is happening first. So if this isomerization happens, then only the Michael acceptor be generated and as it is an uh, basic condition uh, the inolate generation is also possible and then Michael addition reaction so first isomerization followed by inolate generation and Michael addition this uh, complexity or this widget is uh, type of molecule is formed like this so you can see this bond is formed which is nothing but this molecule so uh, here to here uh, correlate uh, you might find a little difficult but it is uh, easy and you can advance so This attack is happening so this attack is happening the Michael addition reaction and it is like this so
So you can see uh, uh, this is nothing but uh, this six member followed by this. So this is written here six member and the widget and seven member is maintained. So in a simpler version it is written like this. Then it is nothing but a strong based methyl iodide. So uh, most uh, the methyl thermodynamically controlled inolate would be generated and methyl iodide so methyl iodide the O minus sorry minus and methyl iodide is there so this attack is possible so methyl would be introduced like this so you can see the terminal to methyl groups is introduced now uh, you can see uh, the then to make long beam polling, we just need to do to make this one uh, <coughs> Ulf Kishner reduction over here, followed by one uh, reduction and and the double bond reduction. So this should be three, uh, three step job here, two here, two step. To reduce this <coughs> no, first reduce do the uh, wolf kishna reduction over here then alcohol formation and then only uh, this liposuction but uh, <coughs> as to keto molecules uh, ketomoities are present uh, so it is selective this is there so uh, uh, by uh, Wolf Kishner reduction, we cannot selectively reduce this and, and can uh, make this keto intact. So, it will Kishner condition both would be reduced. So, this control is not there. So, that we need to follow this much step. So, at first, uh, uh, reduce selectively, <coughs> we are protecting this uh, this keto center in this particular reaction condition then only we can reduce that to alcohol followed by uh, then we can do the wolf uh, uh, reduction and it is, it is reduced and here uh, the thiopital can be uh, to protect it and uh, the wolf kishner make, can make uh, this stage to stage to from keto and then we can do the oxidation again and then we can introduce the needed methyl group over here and make this and there here to here with the elimination you can see SOCL2 just uh, all over uh, I am typing anyway so the elimination reaction the OS and this particular would remove and make the double bond over here that way we can make the long default another way could be uh, that I have said earlier like with this condition we can also be so in that way <coughs> with uh, like many steps one uh, the first total synthesis of uh, long default is achieved and it was done by Kore so this is an uh, longer approach and for that uh, there are many uh, versions or uh, there are many uh, procedures that reported but uh, another report is there which is uh, this in 1978 it is also there and this is done in very much uh, lesser step so that's why I am explaining it also so here one of the interesting concept is uh, generally we, when we uh, do the electrosynthesis we generally look for this connection this connection we look uh, generally, generally for electrosynthesis this is the primary rule 
but uh, an exceptional cases uh, uh, we can uh, uh, we can do the reverse of that also without disconnecting bond we can add bond also so one of the concept of overbed intermediate generation so generation and uh, they can be easily made that's why we do that particular operation uh, further classes we can uh, discuss in detail but for this uh, longitudinal access let's skip so we can add bond and make this uh, cyclopropane ring so you can see from here to here we are it is a retro but we are adding bond instead of discount uh, so we can generate this and as we know from here to here can easily if uh, H2PT or electric catalysis or uh, many other action conditions are there they can disconnect this and make this and why we are doing this because from keto this generation of, of this molecule is pretty uh, <coughs> uh, so in forward synthesis we you would uh, see how we are generating this and from here to here again we are adding bond instead of doing the disconnection so we are adding bond over here and make this four member so this particular bond we can extra or adding we are adding are known as sulfur so anyway uh, so this particular uh, four member ring the, we, how we can form you, uh, they can also easily be formed by plus to cyclization reaction so if two alkene moieties are over like these are present normal two plus two can make this uh, type of four member ring so you can see the uh, uh, motive of this adding bond is to make the uh, the motive is if we initially we are adding bond the complexity of the molecule but that complex molecule can be easily be formed from an starting material that's the uh, motive for this uh, add bond concept uh, because uh, if we are generating a complexity we should we should able to make that um, molecule more easier way than if, if we do that so you can see we increase the uh, complexity over here but this is easily this can be easily formed by 2 plus 2 cyclarization reaction from this simple molecule let's see if we do any disconnection over here we may uh, make the molecule more simpler but accessing that simpler molecule is much more difficult than this step so we are here we, we can say we are forcing or we are we can uh, sing the future kind of thing because we can uh, we are uh, planning two steps actually so when we are adding bond we are itself thinking about these two steps this this connection also so this stuff this type of at one strategy is nothing but two step uh, electrosynthetic analysis so if we cannot uh, foresee that before that we cannot do this at one step anyway uh, from this uh, uh, so this 5 is nothing but a simple molecule 5 and 5 can easily be synthesized from this and this is uh, can be synthesized from much simpler molecule 6 and 7 so uh, uh, this is a uh, disconnection of this yeah so let's see the uh, forward step forward steps so one acid chloride over here and one uh, and one this type of uh, nucleophile is there so that is can be easily prepared or commercially available also so in this particular triethylamine condition this attack is happening chloride is removing so at first double bond 
it's the R I M thing and uh, this type of uh, thing is uh, generating and with simple hydrolysis this is this, uh, removing and I mean and and uh, we are generating the keto barrier and uh, what is this this is the thing that one CPJ for CPJ protection so we are generating we are using the pyridine as base to forming this uh, enolate and which is reacting with particular this uh, molecule and, and and doing this CPJ protection so CPJ protection is nothing but but this CO2 so this is uh, CPJ protection group. now we uh, you can see the two uh, double bonds are there in each new condition 2 plus 2 is easily can be uh, done <coughs> so in this way uh, after 2 plus 2 we are generating this phone member easily and radium charcoal uh, it, uh, it just uh, deprotect the CBG and make weak so let's see what is happening so see we are keto and we are for member is for Here we have deprotected and make it with or consider that oh my god, no issue. Now, <coughs> this so this electron can put there, so that happens. One bond should be clipped. Uh, you can see the seven member ring is formed so that's the motive for this particular step formation of the seven member ring so seven member ring is formed like this and most of the things are there so you can see this is uh, this particular step two plus two followed by an ritual of these two are known as Demayo reaction one of the uh, useful reaction of the, the Demayo reaction as you can see this is uh, retrodil for that is called retroaldol as you can see in aldol what we do from carbon carbon bond between uh, one carbonyl and one enolate so we are, here we are generating the part or we are breaking that CC one by generating and one in on it. So that's why it is retroaldol. So after that uh, retroaldol, this uh, particular uh, thing is generated, and then uh, you can see uh, the weak reaction condition uh, from this from here to there. The alkylation is done, and you can in the retrosynthesis we are uh, we have seen so. From here too, we need to make, make two gem uh, two uh, gem methyl uh, methyl group from keto. So that's why at first the olefination followed by the Simmons with reaction do this cyclopropane ring formation and Pt2O H2 that this type of uh, condition can make this bond and make this. So this is also an uh, the overbed intermediate type of synthesis because we at first uh, generate and make the uh, <coughs> uh, make the molecule more complex and simplify it. So these two steps are uh, uh, overbed intermediate concepts. They are also the same thing uh, correlated to our retro analysis. So from here to uh, we just need to 
but uh, need to un thread root over here and need to do an another orientation so you can see uh, from here to here we need to incorporate one thread group and do qualification reaction over here so in our late uh, generation reaction at first they have done and we did highlight it have introduced uh, that group for the qualification reaction the previous one like they have uh, like code uh, and things they could have reported same way now we file they have introduced followed by elimination in the pl2 to introduce this qualification so in this particular way they have uh, got, uh, completed the synthesis in 1978 this reported and this is one of the shortest uh, synthesis reported for the you know, where the concept of overbed intermediates are uh, used. So this is the uh, last uh, discussion for the Mises class. So what we have done today we have at first uh, solved some uh, assignment problem followed by representations of uh, two simple molecules and lastly Synthetic analysis of uh, one natural product. So, uh, that's all for today's, uh, today's class. So, thank you for joining, joining, and we will meet uh, in our next class. Thank you. So, we will meet in our next class. Next, uh, Tuesday from 6 to 8 and thank you all.